Good morning. Today is December 12th. Welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> Ooh, this vlogmas, y'all. This vlogmas is getting me. Um, I thought it was going to be much easier. And I take my hat off to all the vloggers who are taking on this task. And I understand all the vloggers that have decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you look at when you like your your favorite vloggers, you want to see. Okay, this is my this is my um my bestie. I'm in a bad area. She's trying to call me. Um, she went to her doctor's appointment this morning, and I think she just had a bone density scan. She's a um, cancer survivor. She had a bone density scan this morning but it was at the same place that she went before you know so it just can't, kind of gave her a little bit of anxiety so I was just trying to make sure they're not they're not keeping her because you know because she's anxious her blood pressure and stuff is probably high but I think she's good hello 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 Kathy through her ordeal it's something how the enemy could just plant something in your brain and then you're responding to it all of a sudden you know what I mean <laughs> without um, without even you know thinking that you're getting ready to you know experience something or you're getting you're just walking around and all of a sudden your thoughts can just spin out of control Ugh. my god is bigger my god is greater he's stronger <laughs> all those things you just gotta start telling yourself that you know so i gotta find a um <clears throat> a gift i gotta find a gift for a giveaway um, for the Christmas party and then I also have to find a gift we have to buy a $25 gift so I don't know what that's gonna be a, a gift with a minimum of $25 um, for a gift exchange okay let me let me say that again so we got to find we have to bring to the Christmas party on Sunday and have a woman to woman Christmas party and we have to bring a $25 gift mm -mm. one more time so I came to get a 25 a minimum of $25 gift for the gift exchange that we're having and then also um, <clears throat> Also, I need a gift, um, you know, I'm gonna give a Lady Nature gift away to someone there. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do it, but whoever can answer the most Lady Nadra um, questions will get a gift. I don't know what the gift is gonna be, but they will get something. So I gotta find that gift too. That's what I came for.
Okay, picked up a few Christmas gifts. Knocking them down. And I saw something for Jalen. Um, oh, this is cute. I saw something for Jalen when I was at Zara. Oh, I thought this was like stretchy. Like, sparkly. Um, yeah, but I saw something for Jalen and Zara. And I would say Mark, but the shirts are kind of short. And he likes for stuff to hang down lower over his stomach, you know. We got our hang-ups. So, um, I thought that was cute, though. It's a um, like a two-piece. Look at this. Look. That's pretty. I wish they had red, because I would like to wear something under um, under that outfit I tried on. Something like that, but in red, under that outfit. Why don't they have red? It's Christmas time. Guess what I got? Guess what I got? Tell them what I got, Dina. <laughs> Miss Nathan. I love this kind of stuff. For her faithfulness and shopping with <laughs> me. She has a Gig Connect and she gets $50 off for her purchase. $50 off my purchase. <laughs> I'm groovy. <laughs> I'm feeling wonderful. Okay. I love it. I love those kind of surprises. Ooh, Dina put some good stuff in my my bags, but they were heavy. She gave me boxes. Whoa! Really? <laughs> my gosh! Dina put some good stuff in my my bag, but she gave me boxes, and everything was so heavy. So I had to go take that to my car. Um, I'm walking over to Anki because ever since Sharice and I were here last week, those noodles, hi, those noodles have been calling my name. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I'm gonna order one order of um, the garlic noodles with beef and one with shrimp.
Look, you guys, what stopped me in my tracks? It's Denicia, Atomic Rose, and then. Food for greatness. Food for greatness. That smells good. I have Paragon. Oh, you have Paragon? I have Paragon, yeah. Have you smelled moss therapy? Mm mm. What is it? This one is also number one seller too. The moss therapy. Moss? Moss therapy? Moss therapy. Yeah, that's good too. So you like fresh better, right? Yeah, I like Oud for Greatness though. Hmm. Okay. I just put bought. It on your skin? Yeah. Which one is that? Oud for Greatness. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I've sprayed Oud for Greatness on me, but y'all, the stuff, just, that's some good perfume, that Anisha, and I don't need not one more bottle. Look at this. That's a nice masculine looking sweater. I wonder what Mark, um, would he wear it? Oh, look, they got men's fr frames over here. Let me see. Mmm, I like these for Mark. So they'll get through Christmas. The anniversary is coming for Mark. These are cute. But. So I have a hard time picking out glasses for people. My my essay, she's she's probably gonna come over here from the women's department. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just cruising. Thank you. She's like, oh, she's looking. She's looking. Um, but you have to try frames on men. You know what I mean? On other people. Like this, I think this will look good on him. He's an aviator guy. So I think these will look good on him, but I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not sure. Or this one. This is probably more his style. Oh, but they're so big. <laughs> it's stretched out. I wonder if it's just the, um, the sample fair. Ooh, this. Oh, this ooh for greatness, y'all. Oh my gosh. So good. The nerve to be trying on heels <laughs> and my feet are ashy. <laughs> I'm like, whoop! You know, 
sometimes these slides, they just be doing me wrong. They be doing me wrong. They do me dirty. Um, making my feet get ashy like that. Uh-oh, check tire pressure. Let's see what it says. Is it gonna tell me what my tire pressure is? Do I need to stop or can I get home and take it to Mark? That would be the um, <laughs> that would be ideal for me to let him handle that that part that tire stuff. The shoes, the Jeffrey Campbell shoes, that the red ones that I tried on, they were super cute. They just um, I don't really know that I need a red shoe. I mean, I'm 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 sure I need a red shoe. I do need a red shoe. And actually, the heel was a nice heel height. It wasn't high or anything like that. Hmm. Um. They fit a little snug right across my toe. Um, and they're an 11. So, that was kind of a deterrent for me. Um. I don't know if that's something that can be addressed or not, but... Uh, that's why I didn't, you know, just say, oh, okay, get them. Because they're not, they weren't that expensive. They were, I think they were a little bit over $100, I think she said. Yeah, so I'm going to, those glasses, y'all, they get me every time. And they're right by the door. <laughs> the, the glasses and the perfume. I had to go on and pull out my Tom Ford so I could. Or I call them Tom Fords. They're not really Tom Fords. They're from Amazon. I had to pull these out so I wouldn't feel like those were better than mine. And then this ooh for greatness. I don't think I knew it smelled like this. Oh yeah, my tire pressure is fine. Um, I don't think it, I knew it smelled like that. That that ooh for greatness by Anishio. Huh. I gotta see what the notes are. Okay, y'all, I'm back home. I got a few packages in, but I was on the phone, so. <laughs> I didn't get to show you guys. I, I, I get distracted when I get on the phone. <laughs> like, no, I'm supposed to be vlogging. I need content, I need to be vlogging. But, um, when I came home, what did I have today? Oh, mm. No, what did I have today? Oh, my black boots came in. Let me show you guys my black boots. My black boots, they're just like the white ones that I got from Amazon. Oh, my back. Okay. Um, I'm just trying not to take nothing. I'm just trying not to take nothing. I don't want to take nothing. Um, ouch. The black boots. Just like the white ones. These are from Amazon. They are really, really tall. Come all the way up to there. Um, so, um, I gotta find a spot. <laughs> for them because I ain't got no more room for another pair of boots and I don't see one only boot that up here that I don't or I would not wear or that I would like skate past are these but they're so fresh like and the reason I was like skip past them is because they hurt but then if I take them down, that would just make that look very boring. My boot game is not, although the boots are good, I wear the white ones, I wear the, the Croc and Boss Brown. I don't, I've only worn these once. And that, you know, I don't know, that kind of surprises me. I wear these, um, no, yes, oh, yes. But it's just like a regular black boot. These are fire. And they're really tall. 
Um, these go, these have a, a purpose. You know, they make your outfit look good because of the color. These are great. These are the ones with the um, L-shaped heel. Um, these are very, very, very necessary, but they could probably come down because if you could see even right there, they're uh, very, very scuffed. And I'm probably just going to have to take them to the shoe cobbler. I keep saying I'm going to do that. I need to take them down. If I take them down out of here, then they'll actually get to the shoe cobbler. These are a whole vibe. They just are. That's a insert um, in there to keep them up, keep the shaft straight. These are a super vibe. I don't know if you guys could tell that they are like that mohair type of situation. Dope. Very comfortable too. And then these have the uh oh the fringe on the side. So all my boots are boots that would are practical for practical outfits. Um, only ones that I, that are kind of special are these and these. I don't really have many special boots, so I, that makes me not want to get rid of the silver ones. Um. So yeah, what did I get? Oh, Dina gave me. She hooked. She hooked me up. So this Sunday I have a um, Christmas party. And I'm going to put some little packages together. So she gave me like, these a bunch of Mugler samples. Um, I don't know who these are, but they're samples. <laughs> these are Versace samples, a whole sleeve of them. A few of these. I only got a couple of these, so I'll probably keep these for me. Um, then, this bag is full of more samples so oh and then i got these too so she gave me a bunch of stuff to um to be able to do something with i don't know what i turn the light off i don't know what i'm gonna do with them yet if you guys have some ideas as far as how i can um give them away or yeah, they'll just be care packages. I don't want to give samples away. That's kind of cheesy. Um, but I am going to do a giveaway. And they're going to have to... It's it's the ladies from my church. So I'm trying to entice them to <laughs> um, watch my channel. And so I did buy a gift to give away. And I'm going to... Hey! Come on! Oh, okay. I'm going to um, do a giveaway here as well. Probably the week of Christmas. But I'm going to do a giveaway at my Christmas party. Um, don't you hate when people text you and they just said hi? <laughs> hi, Nadra. Okay. Anyway. Um, so... What was I saying? Oh, I'm going to do a giveaway here towards Christmas. But this Sunday, I'm doing a giveaway because I want, I'm trying to be about my business as far as letting people know that I have a, a YouTube channel, that I vlog, that I'm, you know, out here in these, in these, these content streets, you know, I'm trying to do better. Not just doing it and letting people happen up on it. I'm trying to let people know that I do it. And so I thought I start with the ladies at my at my church. And um a lot of times people are watching but they don't really say that they're watching it or I I don't know that they're watching it. Um I'll say it like that. And so uh, for those that are I'm going to do something like a giveaway for them at the Christmas party. You know, try to entice people to to watch. So, um try to drink more water too. So yeah, I gotta come up with something that will um some kind of contest 
for the giveaway. And I'm trying to figure that out. I gotta, I don't know. I gotta do something. But I'm gonna put those little samples in some care packages. I don't know how many people are coming to the Christmas party. That's my problem, my dilemma right now. Um, but little care packages. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, but uh, I do want to give them away. I think that's cute. Um, or whoever gets gifts, put some sample, put some perfume samples in there. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. All right. Because we do have some games. We do have some games. Oh, so my auntie, she's going to help me to make a cake, another cake. So I, I got the, the lemon, no, I'm not, what is it? Um, the 7-Up cake, I got that down. I can make that, you know, in my sleep. I'm good <laughs> with that. Like, I don't need to re-look at the instructions or nothing. I just know how to make it now. <laughs> um... So now she's got me trying. I asked her what would be another a good cake for me to transition from the Seven Up cake to the next cake, you know, without feeling like, oh my God, this is so much harder. So she said the Philadelphia cream cheese pound cake. Does that sound delicious? Um, ingredients: three sticks of butter. Um, one eight ounce Philadelphia cream cheese, soften to room temperature, six large eggs, room temperature eggs. It's important. These room temperature things are, are important. Um, one zest of lemon, peeling grated. Okay, we're going to have to talk about that. Three cups of sugar, because I don't know how to do that. I think that's... Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk to her. Um, three cups of sugar, three cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of squeezed lemon juice. Let's put it together, prepare everything before mixing. Let's put it together, prepare everything before mixing. Squeeze one lemon. Put two tablespoons of juice in a small bowl. Um, one tablespoon of vanilla extract in the same bowl. Zest of small lemon grated and put into the same bowl. Optional. Hmm. I'm doing it though. Because you said to do it, eh, Rachel? Um, in the mixing bowl, high speed, one cream butter sugar and philadelphia cheese until creamy 10 to 15 minutes that's standard for her she likes that she likes me to do that i did that in the other cake um add one egg blend until all eggs are gone so one egg at a time low speed lower the speed uh, mix in one cup of flour flour completely blended then add half of the lemon juice zest and vanilla extract that we put in the bowl um, second cup of flour now add the last half of the lemon juice zest and vanilla extract third cup of flour mix well and prepare to bake remember the oven temperature and the baking time is the same Glaze. Okay. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Sorry to bother you so late. I'm sorry. Phone call. Uh, did I bring my phone? Oh. <clears throat> okay. So when I was downstairs, I went. <laughs> I got my noodles. From Anki Honey, these these noodles, they must have all the butter and all the goodness, goodness and everything in them, cause they are scrum diddly umptious. And um, 
I just ate like three spoonfuls, so I'm I'm let me go get some Pepsi. <laughs> <clears throat> I, well, forkfuls. I, you know, I, I did a lot, <clears throat> but I feel like they're gonna be sitting in my chest. So, um, yeah. So I, I'm going to make the cake. Oops, one, two, three. I'm going to make the cake probably tomorrow. I'm not sure. If I'll do it tomorrow, I told her I was going to do it today. So she probably was waiting for me to do it today. She actually called me. I was like, I forgot to tell you to get a lemon. <laughs> so, <clears throat> and I don't have a lemon. I have lemon juice. So I do need to go and get a lemon. Oh. Pepsi, y'all. Mm, Pepsi AC. The mint ones. They work best for me. I can't be talking to you guys with this white chalky mint stuff in my mouth so let me just cover it up so um what was I gonna say oh so I got a few Christmas gifts I really can't say what I got though y'all trying to get me <laughs> I can't say, I can't tell you guys what I got, but I did good. I got Morgan, uh, my daughter Morgan, my granddaughter, my daughter in love, and um, their godmother, Kathy. I got them, all, all of them gifts. Still have to get Mark something and... Jalen and Cameron, all the, all the the men in my life, I gotta get them something. I saw something for Jalen earlier today, but it was a jacket, and I think, <clears throat> although I could totally see him in the jacket, it was from Zara. I could totally see him in the jacket. I just um, think it's too too warm. California hasn't shown any signs that it's gonna give us the kind of weather necessary for such clothing you know i'm just saying <laughs> it's not promising so unless you go somewhere you know four or five in the morning you're not going to ever get to wear that coat so yeah i might have to rethink the men in my life right rethink the direct i'm gonna get mark another outfit because the outfits that i've been getting him he's been enjoying you know, so I'm going to get him another outfit. I'm not sure from where, but <clears throat> only thing with Mark, I got to get the shoes and everything because <laughs> he'll mess it up if you let him just, you know, go on his own with a shoe choice. But he will come and ask me. But if I say no, I don't think that's a good look. <laughs> then he'll be like, well, why don't you think it's a good look? I mean, it's blue. It, 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 this is blue. That's blue. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's. This is Hunter Green, <laughs> and that's blue. It's like, no. So I gotta get the whole thing, the outfit, and the shoes for him. So I'm gonna, I'm getting ready to watch Black Cake. I'm not sure how many episodes are in this series, but I think I'm nearing the end of it. But it's really, really good. So I started off watching it with Mark, and it started off with this gray-haired mother. Which my husband, those of you who don't know us, my husband's mother had this silver gray little hair that she would wear, you know, curled up in like, you know, tight curls and stuff. And so this lady, that was, she was sick and in the hospital and it ended up dying. And the son um, 
was there with the mom, caring for her the whole time, you know, he's very much into his mother. And so this was, you know, starting off like, where y'all going with this? Where are y'all going with this, you know? And then she died, and then that was not good. And then the sister was kind of, she's kind of mm, uninvolved, I'll say. She's not as involved as he is, and he's trying to, you know, get her to come on in the room, you know, and she's, um, you know, go, going through her own stuff. So, you know, she's away <clears throat> from the situation in her, involved in her own stuff. And so, yeah, he's feeling like he's taking on everything, and, um, and he was. And then the mom left some recordings and wanted the the kid her kids to come together to watch it and then it ended up being that she gave up her firstborn it, they thought the son was the oldest but they, it ended up that the firstborn um the lady had gotten assaulted by her by her uh her boss and she ended up having a baby and they took the baby from her and so she, you know it was the whole adoption piece and it was just a little too close for comfort, <laughs> you know? So I'm glad that he didn't watch the entire thing. We started off watching it and I was just like, oh yeah, you know, we don't have to watch this. It's a little heavy, a little too heavy. But I've been watching it, you know, watching the end of it to see how it's gonna turn out. And um, so far, it's really, really good. I think Oprah might have something to do with it. It seems like an Oprah movie, you know? All right, I'm getting ready to <coughs> watch probably the rest of it. I was up till 2.30 in the morning watching these episodes. So I'm going to back up this last, whatever this last one I was watching. I'm going to back up on it. And then um, maybe I'll finish it out tonight. I'll tell y'all about it. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to close this vlog out right here. I'm not going to come back on camera. I love y'all, but yeah, good night. <laughs>